Welcome to Counter-Strike Mapping Academy. I'm your host, Sammy Chimunahihi Aliyubi. In this tutorial, we will begin our meshwork manipulation series of videos to get a deeper dive into the commands that can be performed while in vertices mode. The merging vertices command must be performed within the same mesh. This will take the selected vertex or vertices and merge it with the last vertex that is selected. By default, infinite range is selected, allowing you to merge regardless of distance. Grid selection limits your movement based on the currently selected grid size, and won't let you merge if the range is less than the grid. The fix selection allows you to manually enter in the desired merge range. Here is how you could use this. Imagine making a hole in a wall for a Super Mario pipe to come out of. We can merge these vertices to give us a square planar frame that will fit the mesh frames and make UV mapping easier. Snap to Vertex is an operation that should be performed between two separate meshes. This will take the selected vertex or vertices and snap it with the last vertex that is selected. For this example, we'll imagine building a sacred temple for a ritualistic warship, and we want these towers to connect at this sphere. Snapping these to the vertex gives us equidistant meshes to work with. Since this tutorial is on meshwork, we will cover welding UVs in our UV mapping tutorial. Bevel is a command that splits the selected vertices into more vertices for every edge that it's connected to. The distance of the new vertices are based on the current grid size selected. If you've ever wanted to build a sci-fi walkway, then this operation is perfect. You can create some floor intrusion and extrusion patterns with random beveling everywhere. Connecting vertices is an operation that must be done on the face of a mesh. This can't be executed with two different meshes and requires a minimum of two points selected to create an edge. You can add sequential vertices to the selection to create a sequence of edge cuts into your mesh. This command gives precision control to divide up your quads or n-gons into geometry that works best for your desired outcome. In this example, we're imagining the construction of an evil cascading tower built from a cylinder where the extrusion of irregular shapes is required to give its demonic appearance. By default, when you select vertices, the pivot will be centered between the selections. If you at any point move the pivot and want to recenter it, click Clear Pivot. The Edge Cut tool gives you the ultimate control for cutting into the mesh and creating specific vertices on the selected face. The grid size determines where you can place the cuts. When you complete your operation, pressing spacebar will complete the function and start another cut operation. Pressing enter will complete the cut and exit you out of the Edge Cut tool. Valve loves this tool so much that they have this operation not only on the vertices mode, but also two more times on both edges and faces mode. They just really insist on giving you any opportunity to create endgons to your little heart's desire. The move path trace down command is extremely useful if you want to line up your vertices with the face that is directly underneath. We're going to imagine that you are building a patio on this unrefined bumpy terrain. If you are a stickler for saving light map space and face size, pressing Control Number Pad 1 will drop down the vertices to match the surface it eventually touches. If you want to select a bunch of vertices connected to your current selection, pressing NumPad Plus will quickly add all that are touching. This can be useful if you have one point that has a multitude of connections, such as the top of this cone and sphere shown here. To shrink the selection, pressing number pad minus will deselect the vertices in reverse order. If you are constructing your meshwork using good workflow practices, you will have a constant creation of rings and loops that can be easily manipulated. Select one vertex and select an adjacent vertex. Pressing L will continue the selection through the direction of the loop. You can have multiple loops selected if you select sequential vertices and then press L. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on vertices in our meshwork manipulation series. Please like, subscribe, and join our Discord for all our community events and to play our games and maps.